The NetApp support site has many functions, things like downloading software, system management, creating and viewing cases, and searching NetApp knowledge. But did you know that we have extended these capabilities by putting them directly inside the NetApp products you're probably already using? I'm Drew Claybrook, and I'm NetApp's Community Manager, and in this video we're going to talk about using in-product support and how to create and fully manage your case from within flagship NetApp services like BlueXP. But first, a brief bit of history. In 2020, the digital support team launched a new redesigned NetApp support site. We've continued to improve and expand the user experience each year, and we've won a variety of awards along the way which we proudly display in our virtual trophy case. If you're interested, I've left the link down below in the description. One of the most recent developments was the implementation of a case management API. So why is that important? Well, it enables NetApp products and services to communicate with the support site to bring information to you in the product. Features like automatic firmware upgrade in ONTAP 9.10, system registration, and system manager's knowledge search capabilities all make use of this new suite of APIs for products and partners. The one I'm going to demo for you now is the ability to open a support case directly in BlueXP. So let's go. So head to bluexp.netapp.com and click, oh, just a couple of assumptions first. One is that you've already got your systems registered, and two is that your accounts and environments are already set up in BlueXP. So head to bluexp.netapp.com and click get started. Go ahead and log in, which I'll zip through here on the screen. Once you log in, you'll land on the Canvas in the My Working Environments tab. Now I've masked some of our environments data, so don't worry about that. For simplicity, let's use this action required prompt on this single CVO cluster as the basis for opening our case. I'll go ahead and click on it to open its details panel and tap the notification. Hmm, empty working environment. Okay, good. This one looks simple, but let's take a screenshot anyway, just so we can include it in our support case. In the upper right corner, click on the question mark to get help and then click support. Here's where you'll see your account's serial number, mine is masked, and I mentioned system registration earlier and how it's part of the API. You can also see our blue check mark here as an indicator of support status. With the knowledge that our system is supported, let's go ahead and create a case. The first thing to note is that you may need to change the ID at the top here. This is used for the primary case contact. Now I'm masking my actual chosen account, but you get the idea. I'm going to choose BlueXP as my service, even though you have several other options and each one automatically checks the support status for the environment that you're using. Since BlueXP is an account-wide tool, there isn't anything else to select. This one is low priority and, well, it's a test case that I'm creating for you. When it lands in the ticketing system, I just want the team to see that emphasis. Now this is your chance to add any additional contact addresses separated by commas. Let's get that screenshot added. Make note of the supported file formats because at present we're looking for a JPEG. Details complete and submit. Now we have a case number, which we can also find in case management along with the rest of the case details. But hold on, we started this video talking about APIs. So I'm gonna to head to the NetApp support site and log in with my account. All of the details here match what we submitted and it even includes some additional account information that we didn't have to input. I'm gonna add an update. It's an easy one that everyone loves to see. Close the case. You can also just skip straight over that and just add the request to close the case directly. Again, unnecessary step here, but just to demonstrate the API in action, I'll cut back to the support site to show that our test case is now pending closure from a NetApp support engineer. Future Drew here. I realized I didn't demonstrate that the screenshot attached to the case is also available over on the support site, made possible by the support site API. There's so much more we've got planned and I can't wait to show it to you later. But until then, we'll all just have to be patient. For now, let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see. We're always listening to your feedback. In the meantime, check out the digital support blog on the NetApp community for the latest news on what we're up to. And maybe you'll consider joining the official NetApp Discord. Just head to discord.gg slash NetApp to check it out. And while you're at it, take a second to subscribe to NetApp KB TV here on YouTube for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.